Kubor Nagashlem Jong Dong San Hima. Kaseng Kongres Kalapan Benawa kan sedang yang berharap Joro Yatra Lani yang kejengia denti banuan rakyat kejengia jan hakari Naduk bah nyau terik unai lor Arajar Arpuar Batkan ni kejengia denti kan nong naduk Kanya Kumari Syaduk Kashmir Hakaba kejeng jengai kalong Kumba lai hajar san sepak kilometer Bat an pendap ia kan ni kejengia denti Hapo si sepak san pahu sengi Haka jengia kan duk bat kinong tok kubur Rasulong Ka General Secretary ka Seng Kongres na Asam ka Bobita Sharma kalaya tu bahaga ni ka jingyat denti kinong yalam ka Seng Kongres kinya kandu ya keren bat ya mirjing mud bat ki pahu lang mud kinong syong syong hakari. Ka Seng Kongres ka lakam bakumba ka long mentah ki emlang saalang hakari ka don hapadeng ka jingyat pad haka kerteng jong kanyam ka than ka ketian ka terliat ka baam ka di bat karyam ka bed. Ka lakano ru ba janman ka sengi ki jumi ki jingyat sela bat penya syurut ya kinong syong syong. Banyak kuni kijing eh hakari ke seng kongres ketemu banyak selok bat kinong tray mon sobha ki akhya bat ki wei ki seng san perthai In the last 8 years since the Modi government has come to power the promises that were given by the BJP government led by Sri Narendra Modi people had given him vote with lot of trust lot of hope but what have you seen in the last eight years? That all their hopes and trust have been destroyed. And we have seen that the trust they had in the BJP government, which the people voted to power, has been dismantled one by one. First and foremost, in the economic problem that we are facing now, the most important problem is price rise. At that time, they used to talk about the rise of petrol, the price rise issues. When they were in the opposition, they used to take to the streets. But what do we see now? Now for the common people, petrol has reached more than 100. Price rise is skyrocketing. For everybody, for you and me, for everybody, it's becoming very difficult to even make ends meet in the household. Every housewife, Every man who works in an office, every daily wage earner feels the pinch of the skyrocketing prices. And what about the two crore jobs every year that they had promised? We don't see anything now. Unemployment has been the highest in the last 45 years. And even now, in every state, unemployment is a big, big issue. And our youths are very, very disheartened with what has been promised to them. So these two economic issues we want to take to the people of the country through the Bharat Joro Yatra. Secondly, we have seen that in the last eight years, unprecedented social tension in India. Everywhere there that you go, you find that there is some kind of communal hatred between people, which is something like an engineered way. We have grown up in an atmosphere of harmony and secularism. You, me, everybody. In our schools, we were taught that unity and diversity. Because India is a country with so many different religions, so many different communities, so many different languages. But now, we see that it takes just a small instance of incident to create a spark. Sometimes we feel that this kind of work has been engineered to divert attention from the real issues of price rise, of unemployment, of what they have not been able to deliver to the people as promised in the elections. So in order that people don't question the government, so that people remain engaged in these social tensions, we feel that these are encouraged that there is a conspiracy to keep people engaged in hatred, in creating animosity between each other. So this is also one issue that we would like to take to the people of India through the Bharat Joro Yatra. Thirdly, we have seen how politically the government at the center has been trying to control and centralize everything, and how they are going on a politics of vendetta against the opposition leaders. 
from south to north to east to west, everywhere you have seen how they have used the central agencies like ED and CBI against the opposition leaders. How they're trying to uh, subvert the independence of the state governments. No state government can act on their own without permission from the central governments. It's as if all the chief ministers have become puppets in the hands of the central government. So these issues we want to take to the people of India through the Bharat Joro Yatra. These are the main core goals. And this Yatra will start from 7th September. And our leader, this will be led by our leader Rahul Gandhi ji. And he will be throughout this Yatra, which will continue for 150 days. And it will cover the different states. I have I will give you the details, but I would just like to go through it once again to give you the itinerary. It starts on 7 September from Kanyakumari and it goes to Jammu Kashmir. And it covers 12 states and two union territories. The 12 states are Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Punjab, Himachal Pradesh, and Jammu and Kashmir. It will be totally, they will be covering, the Yatris will be covering 3,500 kilometers, and it will take 150 days to uh, cover. There will be constantly 118 Yatris who will start from Kanyakumari with this Yatra to uh, Kashmir. And they have been select, already selected by AICC. In addition, wherever the Yatris reach, the local PCCs will also send their own participants. And they will again add and go on to the Yatri. And, they will, and we may also have Atithi Yatris. The states which are, uh, as, you, as you already mentioned, that it is from Kanyakumari to Kashmir. But the other states, like northeastern states and the western states, have not been included. So people and participants and our party members who want to participate in the yatri, uh, Yatra, they are known as Atithi Yatris. So they will also participate. They can also join wherever they want, and the yatri can, Yatra can be continued. If you want the detailed schedule of the Yatra, you can get it in the website yatra. Now, as far as the logistics are concerned, the preparations for food and everything are going, there will be mobile vans. Well, they will sleep there, but and other PCC PCCs will arrange for the other uh, logistics. Now, wherever the northeastern states are not included in the Yatra, but they are going to have separate door-to-door -door and uh, campaigns and Yatras in a similar manner to take to the people the same three issues that I've already mentioned. Now, at a time, there will be 300 core yatris. They will continue the yatra till Kashmir. The specific program on 7th, which we are going to start in Kanyakumari, reads as follows. In the morning around 7 a.m. in Sri Parambudur, Sri Rahul Gandhi will pay homage to the memorial of former Prime Minister, late Rajiv Gandhi. Between 3 p.m. in the afternoon to 4 p.m., Sri Rahul Gandhi will visit and pay respects at the Thiruvala, Thiruvaluvar Memorial, the Vivekananda Memorial, and the Kamraj Memorial. At around 4 p.m., a prayer meeting will be organized at Mahatma Gandhi Mandapam. After this meeting, there will be a handover of the national flag ceremony at Gandhi Mandapam. Then Sri Rahul Gandhi and Bharat Joro Yatris will march from the Mahatma Gandhi Mandapam to the Beach Road. From 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. on Beach Road, there will be a public rally and a meeting to formally launch the Bharat Joro Yatra, that is on the 7th. The next day on the 8th, the Padayatra will commence at 7 a.m from Vivekananda Institute of Polytechnic Ground, Agatiswaram Karna Kumari. There will be participation of Congress leaders from Tamil Nadu and all across the country. 
as well as some of the political parties and civil society organizations. One, the government at the center has been trying to control and centralize everything and how they are going on a politics of vendetta against the opposition leaders. From south to north to east to west, everywhere you have seen how they have used the central agencies like ED and CBI against the opposition leaders. How they are trying to uh, subvert the independence of the state governments. No state government can act on their own without permission from the central governments. It's as if all the chief ministers have become puppets in the hands of the central government. So these issues we want to take to the people of India through the Bharat Joro Yatra. These are the main core goals. And this Yatra will start from 7 September. And our leader, this will be led by our leader Rahul Gandhiji. And he will be throughout this Yatra, which will continue for 150 days. And it will cover the different states. It starts on 7 September from Kanyakumari and it goes to Jammu Kashmir. And it covers 12 states and two union territories. The 12 states are Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Punjab, Himachal Pradesh, and Jammu and Kashmir. It will be totally, they will be covering, the Yatris will be covering 3,500 kilometers, and it will take 150 days to uh, cover.